distracts from the presentation. <coughs> Are we ready? All right, I want to go play tennis, but I don't have a partner. So what am I going to do? Hit the tennis ball, run across the hit tennis court, hit it back. That's just going to be boring. I'm not going to do that. Want to go play frisbee? No, I'm going to catch. Am I going to do this all day? No, not going to do that either. Hi, my name is Greg Schoenfeld, and I am the founder of a social media site called WorkoutPal.net. WorkoutPal strives to provide a healthy lifestyle through tracking tra tracking workouts finding you a partner to do your activities with, providing coaching, and providing buying assistance so to make your shopping easier for you. Right now, I'm in the current stage of making my plan, and I will be starting a pilot test here at ONU with the help of my dad. He is a computer scientist at Carnegie Mellon University. So with $2,000, I'm going to invest that to build the back end of my service. That will allow me to start a test pilot here at the ONU campus and then from there, I can scale it up and allow it to go to larger universities or uh, larger demographic areas, like geographic demographic areas. Um, I'm going to get a cut from the coaching, because that's going to be a paid service, and also the uh, kickback from the sales of the merchandise. The tracking, blog, and the matching services will all be free. This will also allow you to generate a social media feel. Uh, through this, what I would like to do is, after that, after I get my test pilot done, step up, go to a larger university or a larger geographic area like Columbus, Cincinnati, Dayton, and grab those customers and see if it'll work there. And then it's scalable from there. So I want to ask you guys, do you really want to go play a sport by yourself, or do you want to have some fun and work out with a buddy? Thank you. Six minutes of questions. Who do you see as competitors in this space? Uh, DailyMile.com, TrainingPeaks.com, uh, Facebook, and uh, text messages just to avoid the service altogether. So your value add relative to those competitors? Uh, it's basically, Daily Mile doesn't have like coaching services or a way to buy easily. Um, so basically, I'm going to grab, be grabbing services from other companies, like Training Peaks, who has an extensive coaching process. Grab from them, do that. Uh, Training Pe or, I'm sorry, Daily Mile also doesn't have the um, tracking functions. So, you know, that'll come from like mymaps.com or mapmyride.com, and I can use a function like that using Google Maps to bring all the services into one location. Uh, I'm on the ONU campus, not necessarily in ADA. Is ONU typical? Um, the, reason, uh, the reason for the test market here is going to be the fact that everybody's in one area. People aren't going to want to drive 45 minutes, an hour, to go exercise. So everybody's in a close-knit community here. So it's kind of like a community inside of itself, inside of a larger community of ADA. So this will allow, also, we have like 60% of the student body is an athlete. Plus, like a collegiate athlete, so with the NCAA. Also, we have clubs such as rugby, flag football, ultimate frisbee, multi sport that allow us to grab a demographic when they're off season. So, you'll create a database and have them put in the specific sports, uh, the times of day that they're available, yep. that type of thing, and then your system will somehow try to match. The, the system will basically. You can put in time, so you'll have two people putting in times, and if they match, they'll send you a text message alert, email alert, Twitter alert, Facebook, so you can get the information to you. And then they would take the initiative to contact the other individual, or would you? Uh, it would all go through the website. So you wouldn't have to actually change phone numbers. That way it kind of keeps privacy down. The revenue model is going to come from the coaching and the a kickback from the sales that I refer out. Um, it will not be an ad-based service. Uh, possibly when it reaches critical mass, it could be ad-based, but I'd like to keep it away from that because I personally hate ads on websites. The 
coaching? Is it face-to-face -face or is it virtual? Uh, it'll be virtual. I will partner with industry coaches in the sports that I represent, and they'll allow you to either do like a monthly plan or one-time consulting. Uh, some will be face-to-face, -face, depending on geographic location, or it'll be all virtual. What do you think will happen when you take it to a larger, more diverse test site? Um, I think I'm going to have issues with matching. That's going to be my biggest issue, is the fact that if I go to, say, like Chicago, Chicago is such a huge area that it would be almost nearly impossible to do it. I'd have to have like separate networks. So we set up similar to like a Facebook where you have like networks and you can join a network to just have your area. Questions? Anybody else? Okay, thank you. Thank you very much.